Hey guys, this is my Rider M gimbal that you probably recognize from my other videos. I've had several people ask me recently, how do you find the iPhone app and how do you get it connected and how does it work? So I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I just have access to iPhone, so that's purely what this is. Just go to the App Store like normal and type in Zhiyun, Z-H-I-Y-U-N. It will bring up several apps. Um, the one we want uh, has character writing, which I don't read, but it does say Zion on the icon. And when you click into it, uh, you can see that there are sliders um, that control the gimbal, and it also talks about the Rider M in the description. So just go back and then click Get, and it'll download. So after you download the app, it will put an icon on your screen that says Zion. And normally to pair with a Bluetooth device, you would go to the settings. But in this case, just open the app and it'll tell you it, you need to have Bluetooth on. So you say OK and then swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get to your shortcuts. Turn Bluetooth on, swipe back down and it may go ahead and pop up the gimbal. If it does, just click on it and it'll connect. It shows you that it's connected. And then it goes to the screen that gives you the pitch roll, yaw, axis data, and the voltage. If it does not show you that it's connected, click up here in the left-hand corner on this line icon, and it'll show the connect option. And that gets you back to that connect screen, and it'll search for your gimbal. Then go back, and you've got a control option down here. Click on that. And up here on top, you have power and you click that and it turns the gimbal on, it wakes it up. And from there you can control the pitch, roll and yaw. Um, you can see it just controls the camera like it's supposed to. Um, if you get off uh, and you want to re-zero, just click this red target button. Brings it right back to, to neutral. And you also have the modes up top. You've got follow, lock, full and rear. Rear, of course, swings it around 180 degrees and you can come back to regular. You also have a calibration screen if you want to do that. And there's also an upgrade option. You can upgrade your firmware through the app. I have not tried that yet. Uh, my gimbal seems to be working great, so I haven't messed with it. But anyway, I just want to show you guys that. Uh, the app seems to work well and uh, slightly hard to find in the app store, but um, it's well well worth it. Um, if this gimbal was on a long pole or something, you can control it with your phone. This opens up some more options. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing.